Hello, and in recognition of the fact that today is the spring equinox, uh, I've come outside uh, to show a little technique that you can use with any repeating subject. And for today's subject, I'm going to use this fence, which runs along the side of this field here. The thing about this fence is that uh, we have virtually the same uh, item every uh, two meters. So you've got a fence post every two meters, all the way along the fence. So what I'm basically going to do is just take a photograph of each fence post from virtually the same distance away uh, and then combine all those uh, with a bit of post-processing uh, to produce an image that looks a bit like this. Okay, so to get started then, uh, you can use virtually any camera to do this. Uh, the, uh, the, the trick, if you like, is in the post-processing, not the way that the image is taken in the first place. Although you do have to be fairly careful uh, to keep it as consistent as you can. Uh, so I'm using this uh, digital SLR with a 24 to 70 zoom lens on it. I'm going to put that at about the uh, 50 mil mark. Uh, I've set all the exposure uh, to be manual so that it doesn't change as I walk down the fence. Okay, so if I just step away from the fence a bit, frame that up, I'm using the focus point in the viewfinder here uh, on the top of the fence post as a reference. So I'll just get that straight. There we go. Take that one, move along, and do the next one. Trying to keep about the same distance away from each post. Like so. And really, that's all there is to it. You just wander down the fence, taking uh, a series of pictures uh, of each fence post. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, having captured all the images, uh, now it's time to go into Photoshop uh, and glue them all together. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Uh, and the first thing that I want to do is just load up all the images uh, that we've uh, taken. So I'm going to go down to Scripts uh, and go to Load Files into Stack. Browse to the files, here they are. I want all those. So I'll select all those, click on OK. Uh, and now I just click on OK and it will load all those uh, into uh, a different layer for each file. There we go. So they're all loaded in now, and as you can see, they're all on a separate layer. Uh, so we can just have a little look through, see what they look like. And they look like a load of fence posts in a field. Hardly surprising. Uh, okay, so if we just make sure we can see all those again, like that. There we go. Right, the, the next thing to do uh, is just to um, have a quick look and just see how closely they line up. And one of the easiest ways to do that is just to select all of them, which you can do by selecting the top one and then holding down the shift key and selecting the bottom one. Uh, and then just go to the opacity here and just reduce it down to something like 20 odd percent. And there you should be able to see that they all more or less are starting to line up and it's giving me the sort of result that, uh, that I expected. 
Okay. Now the next part of uh, playing with this, uh, this image and making it into something a bit more than just a picture of a fence post is the relationship between the opacity and the different um, blend modes that we can select from here. So if I just leave the opacity where it is for the time being uh, and just pop down to um, some of these other ones for instance, uh, darken, uh, and then we have multiply. Some of these will work and some of them won't. See, that one I quite like just as it is, um, but it's up to your own uh, interpretation. Uh, in fact, that one's actually slightly better, I think. Oh yeah, these are all quite nice. Uh, and I think that has uh, possibilities as well. But um, if we just go back to one of the previous ones, um, hard light, yes. Let us go back to hard light. Uh, then by changing the opacity, we can change the way the whole thing, whoops, too far, uh, change the way the whole thing looks. So there's an awful lot of um, ways to change the actual image itself. Uh, but that, I actually um, think, is, uh, is quite nice. What I might do is just, um, overall, take down the, uh, the highlights a little. Uh, in fact, the other way to do that would be just to go to a, a different blend mode. So if I go to Vivid or linear. Here we are, pin light. That takes down the highlights. That's made it a lot flatter, uh, which is uh, quite a nice thing to do uh, to start with. Okay, so having got to somewhere where we think it's uh, a good starting point, uh, then what I will do uh, is just click on here uh, and Flatten image, which now flattens the whole thing into one. OK, so at this point, uh, we can then start playing with um, the, uh, the rest of the background. Uh, so one of the things that uh, I think I might like to do here is add an adjustment layer to this. Uh, and I think I might just start with something fairly normal, like brightness and contrast. Uh, so if I increase the contrast quite a long way, uh, and maybe take the brightness down, uh, just up a little, something like that. That's looking quite nice. And I've still got some detail in, in here, which is good. OK, quite like that. Uh, now I'm just going to add another adjustment layer on top of that one. And this time I'm going to use an exposure adjustment layer. And generally I'm going to take the exposure right down And might change the gamma. Oops, the gamma correction. You have to be fairly careful with that one, otherwise it can go off the scale a little, like so. Uh, and this actually has a, a layer mask with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is just add uh, a vignette by choosing a really, really quite large brush, which is very soft. 
be even bigger than that. There we go. Just so I can bring the middle in, like so. Uh, and then once I've done that, um, I think I might just look at different crops. Uh, the good old 16 by 9 uh, seems to be quite nice. There we go. Okay, that. And I think, at this point, uh, that's all the messing about that I will do with this. So, there we have it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing how I've played with that and made a, uh, uh, an image out of uh, something very mundane. But you can use the same technique uh, to do it to anything which uh, repeats. Anything that uh, is vaguely the same shape and is quite uh, recognisable. Uh, will work for this. Uh, and you can get some, um, some very uh, artistically pleasing results. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing all that, and if you like seeing these sort of things, please do click on the other uh, items as they appear, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.